I get a phone call. My one of my past clients, mothers is ill, taken ill. And she almost has this, you know, six, seven hundred thousand dollar house free and clear. No will, no trust, nothing. And they don't know what to do. And her condition may or may not be one where she has all of her wherebits, where mm -hmm. her wherewithal. Whereabouts. Yeah, yeah, wherewithal, whatever. whatever. Yeah. So I, I mean, I don't know. So my, my advice in a situation like that is you really need to talk to an attorney first yeah. and foremost, talk to an attorney and find out what is the best course of action. I do know that if you just willy nilly add people on the title or things like that, and they were found to be under duress, that, that the transfer or will or anything like that can be contestable. So me, I always refer them out this particular situation. Um, it was just sisters and they wanted to be added on title, keep mom on title. I helped them with a grant deed. I mm -hmm. gave them information to talk to a local attorney. There's like one caddy corner to my office and they were in uh, Fontana. So I just kind of thought it would be easier for them to come to an appointment here. I just thought mm -hmm. I wanted to try to make it as easy as possible for them. And I also, you know, told them everything that I know about it, but that I told them that really, really, really the best thing would be, you know, to have a trust. And if little else, you know, draft up a will, have it signed, have it notarized, you know, do that right away. In, in light of that advice that I gave this particular person, tell me what advice would you give someone like that? You know, there are a lot of people that just maybe they've never done a trust because they don't really know what a trust yeah. is or a trust, you know, a trust is $2,000 or $3,000 and their health directives in that, it, you know, it's a lot of stuff getting that together. So yeah. what advice would you give to people out there that, you know, maybe have an elderly parent that just, you know, doesn't have their stuff together and they know, you know, maybe they're not doing well and, and, and they just want to help facilitate the ease of all of that. Yeah. No, well, I think that generally the advice you gave was good from the perspective of, you know, trust first, will second if needed. And, you know, typically we never say, hey, add, add them to title for a multitude of reasons, right? It could generate a reassessment for property tax. It could blow a tax basis for income tax purposes when there's a later sale. So there's it's usually not advisable to just add a child or anyone to title as a, as a form of transferring assets upon death. It's not to say you can't do it. California does have actually a transfer on death deed that you can use. Um, we don't typically recommend it for a couple of reasons. Um, you know, it can be problematic uh, okay. just generally, and it's highly challengeable and there's some other issues there. Typically, you are going to want to look at a trust and a trust is really just a, for a type of will that is much more, you know, complex and a little bit, you know, much more, um, you know, full ranging in that it allows for your, you know, it allows for transfer of assets upon death or incapacity, whatever, the, however the trust is structured, but it doesn't require probate like a will does. So okay. will, you know, wills always require probate. Probate's very expensive. It's time consuming. So let's say you spend three to five grand on a trust and the full estate plan package, right? Um, there's very few probates that would be in that time, in that cost range. Um, you know, even a six, seven hundred thousand dollar house going through probate is probably going to cost around twelve to fourteen thousand, depending on you know the time. Yeah. So you know, it's a lot more, a lot more to do in a probate than in the trust administration. So definitely advisable to look at a trust if somebody has some some capacity concerns. Doesn't mean that you can't do any kind of planning. It just means that an, a you know a competent attorney needs to an, analyze them, review them, and see what they're eligible to do. Okay. because you know uh, just you know a client that has dementia or a client that has uh, alzheimer's they may still be able to do some kind of estate plan or something like that they just might not be able to do uh, a complex trust they might have to be limited to a will or okay. something like that okay all right fair enough so yeah I definitely like talk to an attorney that's familiar because there are a lot of things that you can do and a lot of options got it well, thank you for that of information. Course. We will drop your contact information. But uh, if you just want to 
let everyone know who who you are. I didn't reintroduce you at the beginning of the video. So this is Joshua Driscoll, yeah, sure. attorney, Lagerloff Law. Uh, Joshua, what all um, attorney stuff do you do over there? Yeah, lots of attorney stuff. So if there's, uh, typically my clients are estate and trust related clients. They have, you know, either significant assets or assets they want to transfer to their children. Sometimes those are lifetime gifts. Sometimes those are gifts at death. Um, I do a lot of uh, real estate related work, corporate related work as it relates to the estate plan. So, you know, feel free to, to start with me. If there's something that I, we can do, I'll help you. If not, I'm happy to refer you out to someone that does do, does do the kind of work you're looking for. Um, you know, it's a complex area. This is an area that's ever changing, moving, you know, easy, some, usually the easy path results in some undesired un, un, uh, consequences. So, Oftentimes, we'll, we'll guide clients and make sure that they've gotten the right uh, right approach as to transferring assets or, or whatever. Thank you. I like that. My name is Teresa Timms. I'm president of TDR Mortgage and Real Estate Group, and we serve the California market and beyond and have been doing home loans in California since 1998. So if you're looking to buy, sell, or refi, pick up the phone or pick up the phone, call, or text to 909-920-3500. And remember to like and subscribe below. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you.